What's going on guys? Welcome to your 27th HTML5 tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add video and video player to your website. Now before HTML5 you could do it through XHTML and you know JavaScript but it was really messy. What HTML5 did is they made a really simple easy way to add video and awesome video players to your website and they also incorporated a lot of awesome features so before we start this tutorial I want to say this I found a video on my computer It's just a tutorial of me talking kinda of like this one and uh, it had a lot of white background so what I did is I changed the background color of my website to this kinda of light blue color and that's because um, my video is kinda of white and when it goes white on a white website it looks weird so that's why I changed the background to nice light blue color in case you guys were wondering so now with that being said let's go ahead and get to the meat of the tutorial and that's how to add a simple video now you just can't add any video format like a dot move or a dot avi google chrome only takes a couple formats the ones i know so far are mp4 and that's what we're going to be adding today or i think it's called oog or ogg i don't know i never make videos like that but for this tutorial just stick with mp4 and if this tutorial isn't working, if you, you know, didn't listen to my advice and you're still using Firefox or Internet Explorer or something, you didn't download Google Chrome, it's because different browsers can only recognize different video formats. So guys, please, if this video, or excuse me, if you follow along with this tutorial and it isn't working, please download Google Chrome and add MP4 video and you'll be good. All right, so that's my little, you know, lecture. Now, let's go ahead and get to the good stuff. In order to add a video, all you need to do is add a video tag and the ending video tag. And that's it. Then you have a video. I'm just kidding. You actually need to add a couple attributes. The first attribute is the source of your video. So just go ahead and write source. And if you don't have any MP4 videos on your computer, if you don't know how to download illegal movies yet, just go ahead and you could uh, reference a MP4 video online using you know HTTP and you know the entire address. Or if you do have one like I do, I'm just going to go ahead and add the reference to it. Videos and I made a folder called videos and I have a tutorial in there called 34.mp4 and it's actually my 34th chemistry tutorial and it's the you know the first one I found so that's why I named it 34mp4 so now if we go ahead and save this right like this and refresh our page we get this video on our website right here but check it out this video it isn't even playing it isn't even moving it doesn't even have any controls on the bottom no play no pause button it's just like a still image basically so how do we get this video playable well we need to add I don't even know if it's called attribute because it doesn't have any values but I'm gonna call it an attribute it's called controls now whenever we add the word controls in refresh it gives us a default we need to save that it gives us a default I guess every browser has their own separate controls panel. This one has a nice little play button. And if I s zoom this over, you can see that it has the time and the volume meter. And this is going to be different for every browser. Every browser has its own custom controls. but um, And we can actually change this. I'm going to show you how to do that later on. But now you can see if I play this video that we can you know scroll. And this video is actually playing like that. So don't forget, in order to get a video to play, you need to add that controls attribute, which gives you the browser's default controls to play, pause, change the volume, etc., etc. Now, this is kind of like the core basics in order to get a video on the screen and playing. But there are also a couple additional attributes. Of course, you can change the width, width, and let's just say, oh, someone's texting me right now. We'll change the width to 640 and we'll change the height to something like 360 now of course I don't even need to explain to you guys what this means if we refresh it it just changes the default width and height for the video so now let me adjust this a little bit of course the video size changes and if you change it to a width and a height that's different from the video itself for example this video right here is 1280 by 720 however we change the width and the height of it 
what we're doing is we're changing the width and the height of the player. So what this player does is it shrinks and the video just shrinks to fit alongside it. So, okay, this text is annoying me. I have to see who texted me. And okay, it's her and okay, she's saying this. I actually actually usually whenever I get a text during my tutorials, I read them out loud, but this one is for a Christmas present. So, I cannot read it because sometimes people that I buy for watch my tutorials, yada yada. So anyways, we have the width and the height, which basically changes the width and the height of the player. Simple enough. Now let me tell you guys about some good stuff. The first thing is an attribute called, oh, what do I want to, so many things I can talk about. Let's talk about loop. Now you know how we added this word controls. We can also add another word called loop. And whenever we do this, if we save it, we can see and refresh it. Whenever we get to the end of the video, watch what happens. It automatically starts over. So I don't know if you want for some reason a video, maybe you're making a website with a bunch of music videos on it and you want to add the functionality to when the user gets done with that video, it plays over and over again. You might want to add the loop. Another thing is the poster. Poster equals what can we set this equal to? Don't want to do this. What the poster is basically is a still image that's going to show while your video is not playing. So you know whenever you're looking at YouTube videos and you search for something and you see those thumbnails? That is the poster. So let me just go ahead and hit images backslash my face. Stop ping. I know I have that one in here. And if we go ahead and refresh check it out while the video isn't playing this is the still image so if I made you know a video of you know how to take awesome photos of people then I might want to use this as a still and then they can say oh this looks nice let's see what this is about play it check it out sucker this is actually a chemistry tutorial gotcha sucker so anyways that's where you would use the poster and the last thing I want to talk about is the autoplay now the keyword autoplay basically means you know how we had to manually hit this play button in order to get this video to start playing autoplay if you have that keyword in there it says as soon as you load up this web website start playing the video now check this out I'm gonna go ahead and save this and move that back and refresh it and check it out as you can see the video starts playing automatically but another thing I want to point out is that this poster my face it flashed for a little bit so the poster is what happens it's pretty much the image that shows while the video isn't playing and the autoplay basically tells our website to play this video automatically so if you have the poster and autoplay both on that video at the same time it doesn't really make sense because this is what happens when the video is not playing but the video is always playing so what you want to do is you typically don't use these together the only time that this would you know come in handy is if you know you didn't have the loop and autoplay and then the poster would show when the video is done playing but for simplicity make sure that you don't have the poster and autoplay on at the same time because it doesn't really make sense if you get what I mean so uh, anyways that's all I have for you guys for this tutorial there's one other attribute that I can think of but we really don't need to talk about it right now it's really not that important and uh, in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you guys how to spice up your video player and make it even better because yeah this is pretty cool right now but trust me guys it can get a ton better so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video